Hello and welcome to the PC Mission at Tech Help Show. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Craig Chamberlain and I am your host. And then we are on the free software series where I show you software that's great for all walks of geek life. And yes, it is completely free. In this case, we're actually going to be talking about another piece of open source software. For those of you who don't know, open source is actually free for both private and and commercial use. Just go to the download section at PCMichigan.com. There will be a link in the video description. Scroll down to the free software tools. Of course, you can download these at download.com as well or Google it, however you want to do it. I just keep everything here for one convenient location and select the 7-Zip WinRAR alternative. Now, if you've installed 7-Zip, it actually is a very lightweight program. It doesn't even add a shortcut to your desktop. You can go to your start menu in all programs, and you can go to the 7-Zip file manager. Once you've opened that, it does give you the option to create and test and import and extract all files through the file manager. But 99% of the people who actually use this software use the right-click context menu, where you can go to 7-Zip and say, I'm going to add this image to an archive. Now, I can automatically add it to a doodle.zip, which will basically create the file instantly for me, but if I click Add to Archive, I can do a little more customization. I can select my location by clicking on the three dots and selecting the location, changing the file name if I'd like, and selecting Open. And then after that, I can basically say what type of compression I want. It will allow me to create one of these five compressions. .zip is the most popular, so I'll go ahead and choose that. Compression level, obviously you want to be careful if you're going to do Ultra, because Basically, the higher the compression rate, the better chance you have of corrupting your data. But still, I suggest keeping it on normal unless you need really high compression rates. And of course, you can choose your encryption method. I usually keep everything else at default. Then select OK. And what it'll do is it'll create a doodle.zip on your desktop or wherever you told it to create it. Now, if I want to do the complete opposite and I want to extract a file, I just right click on the file that actually is compressed, go to 7-zip and say extract here, extract files. If I do extract files, it'll let me choose the location. I'm going to go ahead and extract it onto my desktop into a folder called doodle, like this says, and select OK. And what that did is create a desktop folder that has doodle on it. And basically when I double click on it, it has my doodle.png in there. And I can close that out. Now, of course, with compression, you want to be able to put basically multiple files into one folder. So that's a real simple thing to do. Just go to My Documents or wherever you have all of your files saved. You can highlight more than one, right click on it, go to 7-zip and say Add to Archive. And then, of course, choose all of your settings. I'll go ahead and leave everything by default. Select OK. And what this does is it actually puts a My Documents compressed folder right where I basically wanted to create it. And now if I right click and say Extract to under 7-zip, Extract Hmm, let's extract to a folder, My Documents. Then I can just go to the My Documents folder, and here I have both my files compressed. That's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.